Hey guys, what is going on? Today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to install the Mo Creatures mod for Minecraft 1.3.2 on your Mac. Before I get into this tutorial, let me just say like I always do, if you currently have mods installed, I highly recommend the eForce update, because if you don't force update, you don't know if the Mo Creatures mod is compatible with the mods you currently have installed. I am not endorsing this, I don't know if that's the right word, um, I'm not forcing this, and I'm not saying you have to do this, but I highly, highly recommend it. If you have mods currently installed, or if you have had mods installed in the past, you're going to want to force update. So, how you force update is you're going to want to open up your Minecraft. Hold on. Open up your Minecraft. Excuse me. Hit options, force update, hit done, and then log in. And as you see, it's force updating right now. Once again, this is not required, just highly recommended. Please don't leave a comment in the description saying, you screwed up my Minecraft if you did not do this at the beginning of the video. Okay. Okay, so once it's done force updating, you can exit out. You're going to want to look in the description or the more info at the bottom of this video. And there should be three links, maybe four. One of them should be the Mo Creatures form, the other one should be Too Many Items, and the other one should be Forge Universal, uh, Minecraft Forge Universal. It should say like Apple Custom or something. That's because I customized this mod so it works for Mac. Because if you normally download it off of here, it doesn't work. It'll freeze your Minecraft. So, yeah. Once you have those three links open, you're going to want to go to the Mo Creatures mod form and scroll down. So you get to download the mod. Okay. Click Mo Creatures mod version 4.0.2 zip. Okay. You have to do a lot of waiting to download all this stuff. It's probably going to take up a minute of the video of waiting. So you're going to want to click that link. It should be an ad fly link. Click skip ad. Then you're going to be up it. You have to wait 10 seconds. 9, 8. Just wait. Don't click that, it's not real. Not real. Just wait. And click. And download. And that should be downloading. Ignore those. And then you're going to want to go back. And go back. And go back. Until you're back on the form. Scroll back down. And you're going to want to click GUI API and open it in a new tab. So that should, oh no, never mind. That downloads automatically if you click it. And then custom mob spawner, you're going to want to open that in a new tab. <clears throat> and wait. And your stuff should still be downloading. Click skip add and wait again. I know, it's fun, right? Empty that out while we're waiting. And hit generate link. And click download 17 kilobytes. And then exit out of there. So, yeah. You can exit out of the form now, you're done here. This link right here, the too many items link, is not required. Once again, this is not required, but I highly recommend you download it. It's a great mod if you don't already know what it is. I have a video on it. You can go check that out if you want. But it's a great mod. It works with any mod. It works. Just trust me. Download it. So you can go and hit download on that link. You can exit out of there. You have to have this, guys. Forge Universal. You have to be here. Hit download. Download that. So now you should have these one, two, three, four, five downloads. Okay, so I'm going to go to Finder downloads and as you can see ignore those I have the five downloads which we just downloaded drag those uh, onto the desktop hit clean up so you can stay a little bit organized just a little bit and yeah okay so once you have those on your desktop or in a place that's easy to get to reopen your finder if you closed it like me and Go, oh no, excuse me, click up here, click go, 
and then hit go to folder and then just type that in right there. That's the squiggly thingy, the backslash, and then library. Just like that. And then hit go. You're going to want to go into application support, go into Minecraft, and go into bin. You should see Minecraft.jar. Right click on it, click get info, and find name and extension. Click on that and type in dot zip or period zip to the end of it. Then exit out and something should pop up. Click use zip. Now you should have something that says minecraft.jar.zip. Double click that. Okay, you can throw the minecraft.jar.zip away or you can keep it on your desktop just in case you mess up. You can use that as a backup. So I'm going to delete it though because I'm confident that I'm going to get it right because that is why I'm making this tutorial. Alright, so go into minecraft.jar and find a folder called metainf or M-E-T all in caps dash I-N-F all in caps. And then you can trash that sucker. Well, you have to trash that. Please do. If you don't have it, all the better for you. It's already gone. Okay. Now this is where things get fun. So you should have that Forge Universal folder custom thing that you downloaded. Open that up. Put this up here. So the Forge Universal thing, you should have all these files in it. Should be a good amount. Hit Command A to highlight all the files. Then right click and copy the files. Then go in here and hit Command V to paste them. Check Apply to All and hit Replace. And wait. Okay, you're done with Forge Universal. You don't need that anymore. So you can just put that up there. Now go into GUI API. Open that up. You should see all these files. Hit Command A again. Copy those files. And then paste them in here by hitting Command V again. Hit Replace. Then you're going to want to go into Custom Mob Spawner. And you should see right here, custom spawner.java. So you're going to want to go back two times, one, two, until you're back where your bin and everything is, right here. You should be here. Right click, click new folder, name it mods, M-O-D-S, no capitals, no spaces. Then go into that mods folder that you just created and get the custom spawner.java, right click on it copy it, go in here, and paste it. Then you can exit out of Custom Mob Spawner. You're done with that. Then you're going to want to go into the Mo Creatures mod. Or no, don't go into it. Excuse me. Exit out. You're just going to want to right-click on that folder and copy it. It may not be a folder. It may be a .zip file. Either way, just copy it and then paste it in here then go back once again this next step is optional not required so just bear with me if you're not installing too many items you're going to want to go into bin go into minecraft.jar open up too many items hit command a hit command c then go in here and hit command v what i just did is i highlighted them copied them and pasted them and you're done you can exit out of everything you have open, and you can open up your Minecraft. I'm confident, so I'm going to delete my trash, and then you can log in. This should pop up. If it doesn't, well, you did something wrong. And it may get stuck on a black screen like that. No need to fear. It will go through it. Go to single player, create a world, or go to a world that you currently have. I'm going to name this Mo whatever, Mo, survival, let's create that world, and we shall wait as it builds, then I'm going to change mine to creative really fast, and go fly around, see if I can find anything, I'll give it 20 seconds max to find something that's not normal, and then if I don't find something, I will prove to you that I still have the mod, actually, Let's take that off. 
creative. Oh, rats. Whatever. Oh! Oh, God. Okay. 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 Not nah, good. No, no. I'm a bear. You're not. I can climb trees. Get on my level, bro. Oh, God. Never mind, guys. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Stay off of my level. Oh, God. Oh, goodness. Okay. Let's cheat here, guys. Let's get out of this diamond sword. Oh, God. I'm out of food. Come on, bra. Get on my level. Come on, boy. Yeah, get... Oh, God. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. Get... get to Sit down, boy. Okay, well... Hmm... Let's go find one more thing. But as you guys can see, the mod was installed properly because... I mean, I may be totally wrong here. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, I don't think there's polar bears in Minecraft. So I think I've done something right. Because that is another creature. Mm-hmm, yep. You wonder why they... Oh, a fox! Look at that. Oh, God, another one! Excuse me, I don't know if you believe in God. That's not politically correct. So I apologize, but... Look at that. Look at that fox. Should we fight it? Or should it be nice? I'm gonna be nice. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a bunny. Oh. Oh, we can capture it and sell it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna kill it, because I know there's children watching, and I really don't want to offend you. It's a nice bunny. Just keep our guard up. Okay, this is not a review. This is an installation tutorial. I always get caught up in these reviews. If you guys think I should do reviews, tell me. But, yeah, this is not a review. As you can see, it worked. And if you have too many items installed, the reason I encouraged you to install it like I did... Shark. Okay, we're not done yet, folks. I don't know if that's a shark or a dolphin. But we're gonna... Should we go in? Okay, folks, we're gonna go out with a bang here and hope that I don't die. In my... Oh, God, I'm dying. Oh, God, I'm dying. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, why am I dying? Why am I dying? What hurt me? That's probably a jellyfish, dolphin, sea monkey, mammal. Okay, those are... What are these? What is a shark? What is not? Okay, that's a dolphin. Uh... I need to turn my brightness. What is that? Oh, that's a manta ray. That probably stung me. You're stupid. You're gonna die. I'm going out on a limb here. Oh, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, you're cool, bro. Yeah, you're cool. Move, dolphin. You die. Yeah, get on my level. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is a... Whoa, dolphin, dolphin. Man, I thought we were friends. You're, you're a mammal, I'm a mammal. Okay. Okay, I need to leave. You're distracting me, guys. Goodbye. I hope this worked for you as well as it did for me. And, yeah, if you guys need any help, leave comments in the description. I'm not the best at responding to them. But I will try my hardest to respond to them. Please use proper grammar when leaving a comment. But I hope you guys have fun with this mod like I kind of just did. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace out. Hello, folks. If you're still here, first of all, you're a wonderful person. Second of all, since you're still here, you're probably cool enough to check out my previous video. It was a mod. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not even going to try. You see it right there. It's got a nice... I believe French flag, flag. I could be embarrassing myself and getting that flag wrong. But you know us Americans, we don't know anything. Just kidding, but you might want to check that out. If you click that silver question mark, it'll take you to a random video. You should click on it because, you know, it's healthy to be surprised every day. So surprise yourself. Be healthy. Click it and eat Cheerios. I am not sponsored by Cheerios. Okay, uh, if you click that yellow subscribe button in the bottom right, you'll be informed whenever I upload a new video like this. And you might get to know about new mods or tutorials that you may like. And click that like button. It really helps a lot. And I thank you guys once again a lot for watching. And yeah, peace out.